looking at this car. There's not a single bolt. There's literally nothing in here. So imagine having to build this car out of boxes. We're gonna build a turbo front wheel drive EG hat. I want you guys to comment below what wheels do you think I got for the car? It's like a dream come true. Damn, you guys put the motor in already? This is like art to us. Yo, Kev, did you see J Rock? Oh, I think he got upset. Look, blocking my, my potential bosses. <laughs> work for Glizzy's? I just had to let J Rock go. I'm gonna call this the 500 horsepower K20 front wheel drive Civic SI build. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to say I read all you guys' comments. I came to the conclusion that I just had to let Gerard go. So <laughs> <laughs> So with that being said, I get to keep the car and let me show you the parts that I got so for you it. Oh, hold up. You chose the car over j -Rock? I just let him go, bro. Like too many people love him and I can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, what what an Oh. Yo, what an asshole, yo. Way to start that video off. That was pretty messed up. Make sure you flame his ass in the comments. I think we'll let you go. We're gonna find out if a man can really build a car. <laughs> we're gonna yeah, we don't wanna get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that was messed up. So wow. today's video, we have literally all our parts. I got spoon calipers. Before you even get into that, just tell them the build straight up. What is it gonna be? Well, obviously, you guys already knew. They cut them out off, so it's definitely gonna be K-series. It's gonna be turbo. Yeah, you like turbo builds? We haven't done a turbo. Everyone's been asking for a turbo build. Boss is asking for this car. Boosted baby, we're gonna do, I think it's a 6266 precision. We're gonna build a turbo front wheel drive EG hatch. It's like a pro mod a little bit, right? Pro mod? Yeah. This is a street car. OBM. I'm saying the color. Oh, know. yeah, it's like completely off. Yeah. But it's gonna be like full interior, clean, no heat, no power steering. All the stuff's gonna be super, super clean in the engine bay. No AC, now we're talking. I'm kind of just gonna go through what we have here on the floor. I'm gonna go through the engine setup, intake manifold, intercooler, radiator, pretty much everything. All the totes back there are the original wiring and all the seals like that are in good condition. But we have a ton of new parts. All this right here that's wrapped up is brand new. I just took it out of the box and left. That these are the roof moldings. They're OEM brand new. Those are the door pillars. On new the outside. control arms. I went what? Compliance car? bushing. Compliance bushing. I went with the rubber because it's going to be a street car. I didn't want to do a spherical. What brand are these? Those are hard race. So we got hard race, compliance bushing, new lower control arms. This is not a regular four lug. This is a Type R four lug from a 96 JDM Type R. So it's a 4x114. It's going to be super hard for you to even find wheels for the 4x114. I already have the wheels. Wait till you guys see the wheels. And obviously, you guys know there's not much wheel options so i'm pretty sure you guys already know what the wheels are going to be i want you guys to comment below what wheels do you think i got for the car so here we have all the stuff we're going to get coated we are going to make a zinc pile we're going silver hardware we're going to make a powder coat pile and then obviously a pile to clean a lot of stuff needs cleanup he bought black engine mounts we have asr subframe brace asr sway bar brand new rack manual rack carbon fiber spoiler in there intercooler setup tuck braided setup in this box we have jhp black hasport engine mounts k series k tune upper camera Kits, move tie rod ends. Keeping the car on the, I see an AM Infinity. Keeping the car on Infinity. It's gonna be AM Infinity instead of a K Pro. It's a ton of parts. I'm gonna show you guys something. This is hard to get. So these are the window moldings. If you guys are watching, you guys want to get window mold. This is for the rear quarter. Screenshot these part numbers. You go on eBay and get these. They still make them, but they're in Japan. And then these are the window molds. I'm pretty sure you can still get these from the dealer though. Here's the, the part front, numbers. Full on front here. windshield. But these are still available. You can call the dealer and yeah. ask for those. We have the engine transmission here. So the motor is a K20 A2 out of a 04 RSX. Type R S. Cars. Yeah, Type S motor. This is a built tranny, has synchros and everything like that. Um, so full K20 A2 Type S engine, built transmission, carbon coated synchros, LSD, twin disc. Yes. Got a twin disc in there. Um, this is badass. Stay tuned. Center feet. Mental. Yeah, I think it's nice. 80 mil throttle body. So we don't know what we're doing with the water pump setup. I think you can't run it with this intake manifold. So we're gonna do electric water pump kit, make it nice, clean, clean setup. A lot of people always ask for the axles. That's a big These part. These are insane shaft axles. These are good for like five or six hundred horsepower. And so we got the kit. We got the two axles with the intermediate shaft. Yeah, that's that's. Is, uh, yeah, he's gonna be. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna be in your rear view. These are 
our spoon calipers. I'm gonna finish them off in a different color. So some of you guys watching might hate me for this because you guys probably would leave it blue, but I'm not. It's so your build, man. Do it how you want. So fuel pump, I'm just gonna go over everything. We got a set of carbon mirrors, spoon calipers, that's gonna hold the AMFU, rear lower control arms, we have K-tuned K1 suspension, K-tuned rear tow adjusters, rear camber kit, front camber kit, sub harness, traction bar, suffering is powder coated. The forks are powder coated. You putting a radio in here? No way. Yes, ghost box, baby. You're not putting a radio. Yes. So JDI sells a ghost box, you can put it in the car. Ghost box means there's no radio there, but it'll play off your phone with Bluetooth. You guys know, I mean, this is just to show you guys how, we, how we're starting off. All new bushes. Things, all new ball joints, stuff like that. The plan here for tomorrow is to try to turn this car into a roller, but we have pretty much everything here. The biggest thing here is actually getting everything clean, make a pile, like I said, for nickel plate, make a pile for powder coat, but this build's gonna come together pretty quickly. The interior is gonna take, honestly, the longest, because custom interior, interior. Yeah, we're doing something different for you guys, something we, we've never done before, and I've always wanted to do on a car. Pretty excited. Yo, here, hold the camera. Get the hell out of here, he's not good. He, he can, he, 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 you can build the car by yourself. Didn't he tell you to leave earlier too? He told you to Hold leave on, too. before I... before we end this vid, well, before we end this clip, I want to show you guys the Integra. Integra is finally complete. And I then after we show them, we can leave. We can dip out. We the, can go build our own the car. Thing, the thing that sucks is we took this car to Honda Fest a couple weekends ago, but we took this car in the green car. This car won best JDM. First place, best Integra, JDM Integra, and I think best of show. We took home four trophies. I'm going to show you guys the car all done. It's complete, 100%. Last time it was missing the intake when you guys seen it man this car came out amazing show you guys the detail Did you guys show them the cluster too after we put it in my brother finally came through for me I told you guys in a couple videos ago that he got me a spoon cluster Yo, since I'm not working here no more. I want my cluster back. Can we get unemployment? <laughs> Yeah, I'm tonight. But other than that, this car is 100% complete. Drop in the comments, where, where do you feel about the build? Do you like it? Is there something that you guys would have changed on the car? Do you guys think the car is perfect the way it is? Perfect. I'm not gonna lie. After driving it to Honda Fest that day, I kind of do like the B-Series again. You only enjoy this because of that AC. Yeah. Trying to fool the people. No, it's B series. <laughs> that VTEC does sound really good. Yeah. Looking at this car, there's not a single bolt in the shell of the car at all. No bolts. So imagine having to build this car out of boxes and parts laying on the floor. Crazy, right? Yeah, this is insane. So before I close the video out, I just want to show you guys the current state of the car. Still in the same condition. There's literally nothing in here. No bolts, no nothing. Nothing on the outside has been done. So the car is still in the same condition. We just put the thin moldings, the belt moldings, and then we put the Downstar firewall block offs on, but the car's still in the same condition as you guys seen it last time. Most of the car is wrapped aligned underneath already. We just have to do the center section. Car is bare, you guys, super, super bare. I love starting like this. Like I said, this is the first car that we built on the channel from complete, complete. We built the A1 from scratch, but like painted inside, outside, under. This is gonna be the first car on the channel that we've done like this. So I can't wait to see how it comes out. Okay, did you see j -Rock? Nah, I seen him roll the toolbox out. I think he got upset. No way. Yeah, for real. Bro. Oh shit, he's outside. What are these guys doing? Hey yo, what are you guys doing? Don't talk to us, asshole. Really? Read the sign. <laughs> work for Glizzy's? Yeah, I don't want to work for you. Speak for yourself. I'm good with that. Looking for work? Yeah, I'm blocking my, my potential bosses. Yeah, get the hell out of here, dick. These guys are really outside. These guys really want on a strike. Looking for work. You got any? He just yeah. fired me. I'm, pro I'm protesting because he just fired me. I need more work too, my friend. It's crazy, right? Yeah, me too. Jerks like you want to You want to take his spot? I got you. Yeah. You want to take his spot? All right. Right. Yo, you better take your ass to work before I whoop you. You just hire me back? Yeah. It's gonna cost Yo, you double. YouTube got our back. <laughs> Yo, YouTube, I don't know what it is, but you guys think like I whooped these guys. I don't take care of my guys. Like, you just showed them. You just fired me. That was, I gotta get compensated for the embarrassment being out there. You can't give me the car, at least give me a raise. I got you. We want to we want to raise. We nah, wanna... I'll do this. I'll make you a promise. And you know I always hold my promises. I promise that I will buy him a car and I'll give him full reins, unlimited budget. Whatever he wants to spend on a car, he can. Well, not, Why? but you got to build a yeah, nice. You gotta be careful. Yeah, I gotta be careful how I say this. Why, why do that? We can just give him reins on here. Because I already bought the part, so technically it's not his build. I want to, I want to give J Rock a car and see his vision, give his wheel boy, setup, his him. color choice, and just give him full reins to his own car. Give my boy no budget. No, he might build a fucking race car. I'll come back. If that's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do, right? Sounds like I'm still gonna get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna turn this car into a roller. Get some of the trim on. Basically, get at it little by little. I gotta get a new sunroof. So anyone has 
a, I think an EX sunroof should fit in it. SI, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm looking for a clean mint, just the glass part. I have the track, so I need that for this car. If you guys have one, shoot me a message on Instagram, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, today we are gonna start small assembly, like key locks, gas door, stuff of that nature, trunk, we're gonna put all the hinges, like stuff back on while we clean a bunch of the stuff. So that's pretty much what today's video, we're gonna try to get into a roller today, but I'm not making no promises. I'll put a montage in for you guys, won't bore you guys with talking. Let's get into the video. you guys enjoyed that montage give you guys a quick recap rear trailing arms are on suspension back suspension control arms put the skirts on mud flaps front mud flaps coilovers are on but we can't really do much in the front until the subframe so that's to do a little bit of wrap the liner on the front yeah man today we're just cleaning a lot of parts jared got the hatch pretty much all uh all the wiring on here all the bolts we put all new bolts on here even here. It's coming along pretty good. It's just trying to clean all the harnesses, trying to get all the hardware, the correct hardware to put back on here. It's just, it's very, very time consuming, but hoping to get the cars roller tomorrow. I'm hoping. I don't know. The engine still needs some detail work, but overall today, pretty successful day. Hoping to get a roller tomorrow. If not, maybe Monday, try to get the engine in next week and then just go from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the montage. We're waiting on a ton of parts. Everything's coming along slowly. Boosters in. Got an S2000 Master coming tomorrow also, so hopefully we can get all that in. but hope you guys enjoyed the video i either see you guys tomorrow or in the next video thanks guys all right boys get excited we are going to put the engine in here today i didn't think that was going to be possible so far we got the subframe all in the engine bay with all brand new hardware i'm waiting for the rack bushing from nrg but everything's looking good the mounts that we got are silver they are not black i made a mistake i think we used the black mounts maybe for a different car got all the engine mounts got this all drilled out new hardware on here back mount brand new hardware thing looks so good the black on the orange just looks amazing take a step back and take a look at everything today's plan i guess we are gonna put the engine in my brother right now is prepping the motor setting the valve cover out to get coated we put these washers from downstar so it doesn't scratch the paint i'm waiting for black ones to come in but these are temporary it's looking it's looking really good we're gonna get the front spindles on here and hopefully get the engine in here today we have everything disassembled as far as manifold i'm gonna take this off and get this coated turbo's all ripped apart so get everything nice pretty much ripped everything apart a new brake master s2000 master cylinder one thing i want to share with you guys we're looking for e-brake cables right emergency brake cables for a dc eg si they are discontinued from the dealer if you guys go to your local autozone autozone sells the rear emergency brake cables with the brackets that was a plus they were only like i think like 100 bucks for both sides which was like something i was stressed about but i got all the hardware from the dealer but yeah i got new emergency brake cables We're gonna put those on it's crazy i think we are on day three and the swap's ready to go in which is insane my brother's over there hard working away to get this engine in the car today yo crazy three days day three three days now i want to show you guys something new that i found online the other day i want to show it to you guys in a minute here instead of if you guys are going turbo uh, instead of drilling the oil pan there's a company that sells pretty much a return that goes over the timing cover right here we never tried it before it's gonna be the first time i think it's gonna work so right now my brother is putting all new timing cover bolts on here we're gonna do all the little dress up stuff after the engine's in the car oil pan and stuff of that nature order a new starter a new alternator to come in waiting for those parts pretty much have to sort through here figure out what bolts we're gonna use everywhere it's coming along it's coming along pretty good the part pile is getting smaller and smaller by the day it's looking real promising oh and we got glass going in today too wait the glass is going in yeah. like all the windows well, the 
a quarter pin on the windshield. The guy's gonna come in later today on like four. This thing looks like a car by the end of the day today. Yeah, pretty That's much. That's insane. All right, so this is the turbo drain. We are gonna try this for the first time. You guys will come along for the journey. I don't know if any of you guys use it. So this goes where the timing chain tensioner goes. So basically, you know, it usually has a, a, a cover there. This has a dash 10 bung to go in there. Pretty dope, I think. I think it'll work great. And it's super, super clean. So we'll let you know how this works. We got this on eBay. I think it came from the UK. I don't know. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna let you guys know how it works. If it works good, we don't know yet. This is something new that we're gonna try. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so we got the timing drain on, I mean the turbo drain on. This is what it looks like on the motor. It's made by T7 Designs. Like I said, we don't know the company. This is the first time using their parts, but you can find them on Instagram. I don't think they're in the US. Besides that, the boat is pretty much ready to go in the uh, car. Don't mind the tank pulley. Yeah, that's I do have a different on one. Same thing with the oil cooler. Oil cooler is coming off. We're going to put the Speech Factory sandwich plate so we can run our oil feed off of that. Other than that, we have a motor in the car, roller, and glass in the car by the end of today. What do you think? Oh, these guys are fire, so don't worry about them. So. <laughs> also want to explain that the oil drain, that piece that we bought, the T7 piece, it's also dope for the guys that are at home and don't want to weld their oil pan. And those of you guys that know that the K-Series motors, they sit very, very low. So we're constantly like changing oil pans every like once a year or whatever from hitting like potholes or whatever the case may be. If your car is raised up, you obviously don't have that problem. One of the things is that you don't have to weld an oil pan. Don't worry about no leakage. This is just a dash 10 with an O-ring behind it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Pretty dope design in my opinion. Rest of the guys should be back from lunch pretty soon. So hoping to get the engine in the car today. Damn, you guys putting the motor in already? <laughs> you must want this shit to run really quick, huh? <laughs> the motor's going in the car right now. We got the glass guy here too, about to put the glass in. A lot going on today. Man, it's insane to look at the car and realize there's a motor in here, windows. Like on day three, it looks like pretty much a complete car, but I know we have a long way to go. You shout out to the guys. Today was like a- Productive. Yeah, we got a lot done. The car's a full roller. Everything's on the car. Motor's in the car. It looks like it's coming together pretty fast, but honestly, this is all the easy stuff. This is all the bigger stuff. So obviously, this stuff's gonna come together pretty quick. Still got a long way to go. Still got a lot more parts. Stuff has to go off the powder coat. Wiring, obviously. There's still a lot, a lot of work. Plumbing. All the hard, tedious stuff is the stuff that's gonna come in the next couple clips.
I just want to say the key thing to all this is prep. Get all your parts together, put it in a pile, try to like be 90% finished with your build on the floor. Cause you're not gonna have everything, but you can have mostly everything. That way your build can come together this quickly when you're ready to put your car together. This is what we love to do. Cause we already know what we need to build a car. We've done this many, many times. We're always missing stuff. But as you guys can see on day three, we got pretty much, we got pretty, pretty far on day three. The way I look at this is right. This is like art to us. So you start off with a, a blank piece of paper, a blank canvas and you just start you know going in order of the stuff that you want to do and draw everything out right so plan everything like you guys seen we ripped this car apart back in what december and i've been accumulating parts before we ripped this car apart because i know how hard it is to get stuff for these cars now but the main stuff was all the moldings from honda um which actually they came from japan most of them to do a quick like recap of what we did today the car looks insane the car looks so good the black on the orange like all the accents it just looks amazing yeah, it definitely does like seeing everything on the car now it's like it looks really really good so motors in mounts are on nothing's on the engine already but just the engine mounts subframe rack we're missing the rack bushing booster master clutch master all that stuff is in and my brother put the pedals on earlier you guys seen in the clip the windows man the windows look so good all the oem trim oem windows clutch pedal brake pedal gas pedal all that's in this thing looks so so good the reason why i did this I made it a roller first because i wanted to see it's it not on the technically wheels. a roller because you don't is. have no rims on i'm here. not putting the wheels on i'm probably close to the last episode i'm gonna leave you guys wondering what's gonna go on here because i'll tell you this when j-rock seen the wheels on the car earlier he was like wow this car is so good so the front's pretty much all buttoned up tie rods are on axles in camber kits are on pretty much front bolted up complete so if we wanted to put wheels on to get a roller it's a possibility for sure so the front's all buttoned up the back too we're just waiting on some stuff to get coated brakes rotors stuff in that nature but for now it can stay like this until we get the rest of the parts in but so far so good i love how this is coming out i love the color this color right i've been wanting to paint an orange car for a long time an orange hatchback and he'll tell you guys like for years finally we're able to do it it's like a dream come true all right so you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the montage next video we're probably gonna powder coat the rest of the stuff get most of the interior buttoned up we'll I'll show you guys new updates next week see you guys in the next video make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video leave a comment appreciate you guys love you guys